Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our short seminar on PEMF and Vibe technology. We're going to do a high-level overview from Rizona Health. My name is Mark Fox, and I'm the founder of Rizona Health. So our agenda today is we're going to talk about quickly what is PEMF, what ailments can it help living well with, and that, of course, sounds like a strange term, but that is the FDA guidelines on the terminology that we have to use. So we'll talk about what is Vibe and RFT. How does it work? There's a history in the background on the technology and a lot of the research that's already out there. And we'll talk specifically about Rizona Health Studies as well and then conclusions. So what is PEMF? It stands for Pulse Electromagnetic Field or therapy, right? PEMF therapy. So the Earth has naturally occurring magnetic fields all around us. So all living and non-living things are engulfed in it all the time. Um, the Earth puts out uh, a couple different ones. One's at 7.83 hertz, 14.1's another one, and 20.3 hertz. These are often referred to as the Schumann frequencies. Um, so the Earth's engulfed in it constantly in about a half a Gauss. Gauss, that's a, a level of magnetic field strength. Um, and it's, it's very important. It's, it's so important, in fact, that astronauts must run PMF when they're in orbit because uh, they get sick from not having the 7.83 hertz actually. So you can think about it this way, nothing happens in nature or your body without an energy exchange, right? Um, think of a campfire, right? Is you've got wood and fire and oxygen that creates carbon dioxide and water. And just like that in your body, <clears throat> excuse me, you eat food for calories and all the metabolic processes in your body require energy. So what PEMF does, it restores and replenishes damaged cells. It's non-invasive, and one thing that's very important to point out is therapeutic PEMF is not the same as harmful PM, EMF, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people confuse that, is therapeutic PEMF is below 10,000 hertz, which means very, very, very low energy. Actually, all of the Arizona Health devices are below 1,000 hertz, so they're extremely low energy. EMF that can be harmful is things like your cell phone, which is at a million hertz. So it's a million times higher energy, higher frequency, if you will, than PEMF devices. This form of therapy can have both physical and men mental benefits, as we'll see, which is uh, really quite amazing. So what ailments can it help living well with? Well, I'll throw in the FDA disclaimer here as at Rizona Health, we don't we do not diagnose, treat, or cure anything. Um, so what, what the FDA does allow you to do with these general wellness devices is if you have data to support it, is you can say it helps living well with that condition. So for example, let's say you have back pain, you go into the doctor, you self-report from a one to 10 as an eight, he does some kind of therapy on you and you leave as a three. Well, he didn't cure your back pain, but you're living well with it because you're at a three now instead of an eight or higher. Um, you can think about uh, diabetics with insulin resistance. We're not going to diagnose, treat, or cure diabetes, but if you're taking 80 units of insulin a day and you run these protocols and you're down to five or 10, that helps you live well with your diabetes, right? So you're having to inject less insulin and less often and you're saving money on insulin. So you can stop the video anytime you like or the recording uh, if you're watching it with the recording and look at all the other ailments. Uh, all of these are contained. In fact, there's 47 protocols contained in the Vibe. Um, we'll just pick out a few that are the most common ones that we concentrate on. PTSD, anxiety, uh, back pain that I mentioned already, and sleep. So though, those are four of the real popular ones but so is general inflammation and a lot of the other ones. So you can look at all the possible ones. And again, all of these are contained in the single device. So what is Vibe and RFT? So Vibe is the world's only pocket PMF device. So hopefully that is self-explanatory. It fits in your pocket. So most people can't see it. They don't even know you're going under therapy while it's running. People will confuse it for an MP4 player. So it's very non-invasive and it doesn't stand out in a crowd, right? It's not, you're not going to a doctor's office with a large machine and wires and those type of things. So there's no drugs, there's no side effects, there's no bozone. So what is bozone? Uh, those of you listening or on the webinar that are old enough to remember 
uh, the comedian uh, that uh, came up with Sniglets. Those were words that um, Rich Hall what is, was his name. Rich Hall is uh, Sniglets were words that aren't in the dictionary but should be, and this is one of them. So bozone is the definition is it's that invisible field around people that stops new and fresh ideas from getting into their head. So hopefully you're not one of those people because you're on this webinar today and you're open to new ideas. So no bozone with with these devices. As we already mentioned, they're categorized as an FDA general wellness device, which means they're very, very safe to use. So you place it in your shirt pocket or wear it around your neck while you're doing anything, cooking, cleaning, watching TV, walking your dog, sitting at your computer, you have it. Um, it's about two thirds the size of your phone and it only weighs about two and a half ounces. So it's super, super light, which tends to throw people off when they first hold it in their hand. They're like, wow, this thing is super light. Can it really do anything? And it's designed that way on purpose so that it's comfortable around your neck and it's comfortable in your pocket. So what is resonance frequency therapy? That is unique to uh, Rizona Health. So resonance frequency therapy, a lot, if you've heard of PM, PEMF before, you've probably heard of PEMF mats um, or something similar. Now the mats put out things like the Schumann frequencies, the 7.83 hertz, and they, they do help. They're very useful and therapeutic in general, but they don't target specific ailments like we just showed you on the previous slide. That's what re resonance frequency therapy does, or RFT. It is a symphony of targeted frequency pairs. So for example, uh, PTSD is one of our most um, successful common protocols, PTSD and trauma. It's going through a symphony of, I believe it's 76, yeah, 76 frequency pairs, one to two minutes at a time, sometimes four minutes, but it goes through a whole symphony, much like a song or a symphony, and it's targeting specifically areas of the body. So PTSD, if you're not familiar with it, it's a full body ailment, right? It's in all the parts of your brain, it's in your organs, in your skin tissue. Um, so the frequency pairs are like frequency A is where is the problem and B is what is the problem? Inflammation in my elbow, for example. So that that's what's unique about resonance frequency therapy is it's a symphony of targeted frequency pairs and they are unique and specific protocols that are found nowhere else except in the vibe today. Uh, we have 47 copyrights on the software. So they're very unique. You won't find that symphony of protocols anywhere else. So how does it work? Well, in a simple high level sense, it recharges your cells batteries and massages the cells membrane. Think about it this way. You go to the spa for a massage. Well, this is a spa for your body's cells. Okay, the frequencies resonate with water in your body to transfer the energy to the cells. Um, we're fairly confident that water is key to it because a magnetic field will drop off pretty rapidly with distance, but we do know the vibe still has efficacy, still works when you put it in your top pocket of your shirt when you have a swollen foot. So think of it this way. We know it's resonating with the water in your body. If you picture throwing a pebble into a pond, right? The energy is very focused, but then it expands out through the wave of the water and transfers that energy away from the initial source. That's kind of key to resonant frequency therapy is it resonates with the water in your body. Um, the magnetic field transfer energy to the cell and the frequency pairs that we discussed already tell the cell what to do with that energy. Now to get the maxim maximum, excuse me, effectiveness, you must be properly hydrated. What that means is a liter of water in the preceding four hours before the therapy. Now, the protocols will work if you're not hydrated, they just work better. So in almost all cases for customers that tell me the device doesn't work for them, I'll tell them it's one of two things or both. Number one, you didn't use it. You used it once and threw it on the shelf or lost it or stuck it in a drawer or whatever, or you weren't hydrated. So in almost all cases, I tell people, they'll admit it's either one of those or both, and then they go back and drinks water or they use it as it's prescribed, right, three to four times a week. Um, I even had a customer tell me last month when I asked him, are you properly hydrated while you're using it? He goes, well, Mark, I had a, I had a protein drink last week. I'm like, well, that, that won't do it. 
And you may or may not know this, but in almost all cases, drugs don't cure anything. Uh, your body cures itself. So what it does, it speeds up the process and allows the body to heal itself. Now what we recommend to use this to start off is three to four times a week on whatever protocol you want. You can use multiple protocols and use it more than that. We've had some people that have seen great results with just a couple sessions. I have customers that use it eight hours a day. They're running it for sleep, arthritis, back pain, a whole number of things. So you can't, you can't overdose with the device um, or the protocols, but that's where we tell people to start off. So that, that's how it works. So what's some of the history and background to this? It's not new, uh, folks. The frequencies have been around for over 100 years. This goes back to the time of Tesla. What happened uh, in about 1934 was a thing came out called the Flexner Report, and it basically made everything but drugs and surgery in the United States uh, illegal. So all the electrical stimulation research, which there was a lot of it that was going on at the turn of the century, it uh, basically all the data got lost, the machines got pushed aside. So that's the sadness and the sad part of it is all this history and, and research got lost um, for the most part. Now, the body is very electric, so it's kind of insane not to look at electrical therapies magnetic therapies along with drugs and surgery but that's what happened um, so Henry Van Gelder in the 1940s found an old machine with a instruction card basically started playing with it and was getting great success uh, chiropractor in the 1990s has greatly resurrected uh, the protocols and frequencies and uh, has trained over 8,000 um, doctors and chiropractors and naturopaths ODs that type of thing um, our goal here at Rizona Health is to make an affordable, the problem with the previous devices and the clinical devices are too expensive. So we're trying to make an affordable pocket size consumer device and that's what we think we've achieved with Vibe. So research, uh, I just had an argument with a doctor yesterday, oh PEMF's never been proven, there's no clinical data on it, blah blah blah, uh, that's what you hear all the time, completely and absolutely not true. There's over 25,000 published PMF articles out there. Go do the research yourself. Um, you can go to our website, Rizona.Health. You'll see tons and tons of research that we've summarized for you, the high-level stuff. But go to Pub PubMed and just type in PEMF. You'll find over 600 peer-reviewed clinical scientific articles that have been published. NASA's been using it since the 1970s for bone density. For long-duration space flight, they have to have it because their bone density reduces so much that it makes them really sick. As we mentioned earlier, they need it for the Schumann frequencies because not having your feet on Earth uh, has a detrimental um, health effect to you. Um, it's FDA approved for non-union fractures. I think the FDA, this is my opinion, approved it for that because there's no other drugs that help work. Okay, uh, PMF is one of the few things that actually helped. Um, ATP is the main fuel that your cells use in your body. It's been shown that PEMF can increase ATP up to 500%. It also reduces cytokines, which are uh, biomarkers for pain. So you can actually biologically measure pain, not just um, very subjectively with a 1 to 10 scale. When we talk about Alzheimer's, I've been telling my friends for a long time about light and 40 hertz and what you can do with these protocols. And everyone's like, you're crazy, Mark. But if you go Google this yourself, uh, MIT has um, done quite a bit of research, uh, doing uh, human clinical trials now on 40 hertz and light to reverse Alzheimer's. And as we'll talk about real quick, we are doing our own clinical, home clinical studies here at Rizona Health. Here's just one example. Uh, PTSD and trauma is one of the primary things that we've been uh, really concentrating on. Uh, we have a 93% success rate in reducing the symptoms of PTSD. Um, beyond that, uh, two to three of those are clinically and statistically significant for you medical people out there. Also, the medical world uses backwards statistics. So any of you guys listening that are doctors are looking for a P factor of 0.05 or less. Uh, our study is 0 0.0007. So the rest of you can ignore those numbers. But <laughs> for the medical world, that's what we have so far. They used it uh, three to four times a week for 30 days. Now, the sessions were well tolerated, there were no adverse events, and then we had no dropouts. If you'd like to see more information about um, 
that PTSD study and go to this URL, URL at Arizona News. We have a lot of other data on um, back pain and asthma and a number of other ailments, but we just haven't like published those yet because I don't want the medical community to attack me because I don't have P factors of three zeros and a seven yet. I don't have enough data points, um, but we see very we see promising results on every one of those uh, 41 ailments that I showed earlier. So in conclusion, PEMF, it's a great alternative form of therapy, okay? Um, it's safe and extensively researched. There's no drugs or side effects, and it recharges your cells' batteries. That's basically how it works. Affordable consumer devices like the Vibe are now available. Um, Vibe is not the only one out there. There are probably 30 plus other PEMF devices for consumers. What is different is we have the only pocket PMF device that I know of in the world, and we're the only one with targeted RFT. Nobody uses RFT but Rizona Health, so we have targeted RFT for those 40 plus specific ailments. We have the symphony of frequencies targeting those specific things. The other devices do not. I already mentioned this, but we have the only pocket PMF device, and this is important. It's for people and pets. So, uh, by the time you, in the next couple days, uh, we'll have uh, dog bandanas that are out for your dogs to wear this device for things like separation anxiety, uh, allergies, um, relax and balance, those type of things. So you can go to our website, rizona.health, and there's as always a common problem. There's no .com in there. It's just rizona.health. And if you have any questions at all, um, just email us at info at rizona.health, and we'd love to talk to you. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Take care.